Redemption runs earn double bronze. So this is the picture of uh, <coughs> Kieran McGean and Mark English in uh, Glasgow. Wintry weather plays havoc with hurling fixture schedule. Loads of games cancelled at the weekend. It's uh, Monarchy Clerkin's roundup of everything else that happened. Club irked at Notion. Liverpool failed to go for juggler. Jugular. Uh, Ireland's Bronze Age. McGean and English step up to mark with European medal success. It's a great picture of the two of them there. Um, it's a third bronze for uh, Mark English in the European Championships. The Racing Post, Derby draw, Dent's Reds title hopes. Um, and uh, Sheffield Wednesday versus Sheffield United is the big game that they're previewing on the back there. Gordon Elliott uh, is answering questions for the Racing Post today, and it's no joke. The near tropical conditions in Britain and Ireland early last week seemed a distant memory at Leopardstown yesterday as the card was staged in driving snow. A great photograph there. And McManus stars to miss festival over handi handicapping fears. So this is a big story. The Shetland Festival's top owner, JP McManus, has taken three leading handicap fancies out of his squad due to a belief they are badly treated compared to other Irish trained entries. Jeski Ivanovich Gorbatov, both uh, contributors to their owners' hall of 54 festival triumphs, and the name escapes me, will not be among those carrying the golden green hooped silks at Cheltenham. It was revealed yesterday. Back page of the Herald this morning is I Believe. It's a quote from Jurgen Klopp, who's keeping the faith as Liverpool bid falters and dubs are getting stronger. It's Anthony Cunningham's quotes after they went down to Dublin yesterday against in Dr. Hyde Park. He says their A versus B games are probably the most competitive games they're going to get said Anthony Cunningham, despite the fact that they, of course, have lost two games in the National League so far this year. Uh, back page of the Irish Daily Mail is Bronze Pride. McGee and English delight at Euro display, while wet, red, weather wreaks havoc with hurling fixtures, says Philip Lanigan here. Yeah, great picture there on the back. Glasgow kisses the caption. Kier McGee kisses the flag while Mark English reacts just after his finish in Glasgow. Uh, it's football on most of the rest of the tabloids this morning. The sun goes with Gone with the Wind. Klopp blames weather as title bids blown off course. And they think it's ball boy over. That's uh, Jurgen Klopp's interaction with Neverton ball boy yesterday. And uh, pick and Mick for Ireland Chiefs, says Owen Kowser this morning. Mick McCarthy has dropped a hint that Luton Town striker James Collins is in line for an Ireland call up. And there's uh, more news as well around Patrick Bamford, who will go to the Irish Daily Star. Demolition Derby is the main story. Klopp remains defiant despite Goodison flop. But Mick's set to meet Patrick is one I just wanted to mention here. So Mick McCarthy. Getting ghosted by Patrick Bamford apparently is over. Patrick Bamford was like, oh, sorry, not great with phones. I will get, I will get back to you and uh, we will sit down. And, uh, need to get on Snapchat, Mick. We will go for that coffee. Uh, back page of the mirror is Gone with the Wind. Red's title charge blown off course at Breezy Everton. But the fine clop roars, I believe. And then finally, a couple of the UK back pages. The Guardian goes with, it's not like PlayStation. Clop anger at suggestions he did not attack enough at Everton. Like the point of like the PlayStation games is trying to model it as much on real life football as possible. Like I often say that it's like, oh, why, why didn't you like move the ticker up this way, kind of press it a little bit more, or why didn't you make those offensive substitutions? Like the artificial intelligence is based on actual intelligence. Yeah. Like PlayStation is getting closer and closer and closer to you, Jurgen Klopp, basically, and uh, he's no. saying it's it's they're still very different things. No. Which, which they are. They are obviously very very yes. different things. I'm but, a club on this. But pe people are saying that they're slamming Jurgen Klopp for this. I'm not slamming anybody. Uh, the Telegraph, though, are blowing it, they say. Salah wastes chances in Merseyside Derby, but Klopp blames high winds as Liverpool drop crucial points in race for the title.